uh, hi Vitek uh, here uh, and Vitronix and this is an update um, from uh, my research into um, uh, electrostatic stimulation of um, uh, plant um, growth and as well as uh, possible uh, reversing uh, uh, changes in uh, DNA especially uh, Ebner effect um, and this is my latest version. I built one before and I built another couple after but I was not fully satisfied with the, with the result. This is my uh, latest um, uh, device I built and this is the block schematics. You see it's an AC input and uh, I have a filter after and uh, that's a main power switch um, a transformer. I was looking for one with a higher output but I found one around which has a 20, 20 volt um, secondary and uh, it actually fits uh, what, I, what, I, what I need and uh, that's important part the ground. This is 3 pole socket uh, from the mains with, uh, with the ground and uh, as you can see the I grounded the core of the transformer and the output of the um, power supply is grounded as well as the connection between the output from the flyback transformer and the uh, Cochrofolton multiplier this part it's, it's important for proper operation um, I use uh, variable adjustable uh, uh, AC-DC power supply based on LM338 uh, depending on the output voltage from a transformer this uh, will operate from uh, 1.3 all the way up to 30 volts in my case uh, all I need is a 5 volt and I'm not getting 20, I'm getting around 18, 1850 uh, which, is, which is fine here and I have a voltmeter so I can adjust my uh, voltage before connecting uh, uh, ZVS and the high voltage uh, part of the circuit um, this second switch, once it's a safety a feature so there's no way that you can turn one switch and have a high voltage output and uh, and have a, a surprise. Um, the second is that the uh, ZVS respond uh, responds uh, to uh, fluctuations once it's getting power and when you turn the main uh, uh, switch, then the capacitors in a PSU uh, are getting charged and there is a little fluctuation and especially on a low range voltage then ZVS might uh, not work properly it will draw more current and uh, normally ZVS it's designed to work in about 12 volt uh, up and uh, but um, I managed to get it uh, working from 5 volts uh, without, without any problems so this way I can regulate the ZVS input and at the same time uh, adjust my uh, high voltage output. Uh, I use the core uh, from the flyback transformer and I put my own primary which is two times uh, five turns and I want my secondary. Uh, I use AVG 26 I believe a wire and uh, a secondary 17 layers of uh, 20, uh, 25 terms and each layer it's uh, separated, it's insulated. Uh, you, could, you could get uh, the same with uh, a flyback transformer, just wind your uh, primary and use the secondary intact, but I couldn't find one in a couple months uh, without built-in rectifier, doubler or tripler all of, all of those I have, they, they have 
they have that and um, for Cockroft Walton multiplier you need AC not chop DC not ripple and um, there is a current limiting resistor it's a 10 kilo ohm uh, 5 watt and that's a Cockroft Walton uh, multiplier and uh, the way I build this um, because I want to study the effect of positive and negative um, uh, potentials in reference to the to the ground um, so that's a simple way to get this done uh, actually I draw this upside upside down uh, it should be flip um, vertically uh, because that's the way it's usually drawn but anyway this is one a section of a cockroach multiplier to capacitor to diodes and uh, normally uh, let's say we feed this from uh, from that resistor here and this part is grounded so the resistor will be connected in here and this part will be grounded so uh, if we treat this to AB as a inputs uh, the D will be our uh, high voltage negative and uh, if we flip the diodes around then this will became, uh, become uh, positive however if we add the extra capacitor here we can use the same voltage multiplier just imagine that there is more uh, stages as many as you need but this is just for simplicity if we add the extra capacitor here then we can treat uh, AB as an input or we can treat CD as an input where these two A and C will be uh, either of them will be connected to uh, uh, flyback to the uh, resistor and uh, B or D will be connected to the ground and the opposite will become the high voltage output I, uh, I wrote this here uh, so you can see better so when we treat AB as an input uh, D will be our high voltage negative and B will become a ground and if we use CB as an input then our B will become a high voltage positive and the D will be ground and uh, of course you can, you can put as many stages as you want uh, approximate uh, approximate formula is uh, that um, um, output voltage would be uh, twice uh, two times the number of uh, uh, stages uh, times uh, input voltage and the RMS of course and uh, of course we have to take in consideration the losses and the voltage drop on a, on a diode so uh, it's not a uh, equal sign in it's, it's just approximate and uh, so that's that's the way uh, it works uh, so in this configuration when we feed this with the AC this part is grounded and uh, we have a negative on our top plate and the uh, bottom plate will be grounded or uh, second option we use the positive output and the bottom plate will be grounded um, that's the setup I am, I am working on it uh, so my seats or whatever I decide to uh, treat with it they will be sitting on a bottom plate, grounded plate and uh, I can adjust the distance and I can adjust the input voltage and I can use either positive or negative uh, input and uh, the field intensity it's, uh, it's a potential between the input uh, terminals uh, divided by the distance in centimeters so let's say if we have a 10 centimeter in here and we want to get uh, 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 1000 volts, 1 kilovolt uh, per, centime per uh, uh, centimeter uh, field intensity we have to use uh, 10 kilovolt potential if we work with the seeds and we have a small tray 
let's say uh, one centimeter distance and we want to have one kilovolt then basically one kilovolt input will give us a field intensity of uh, one kilovolt per uh, centimeter uh, so that's that's enough of, uh, of talking for now I'll uh, I'll show you I'll show you the device uh, that's the just a look from outside, and uh, that tube is hosting uh, a cockroach Walton multiplier. Uh, it's got the 10 stages. It's uh, pretty much the same as this one, uh, except this one is only five stages, so it's twice, twice as long. And uh, the this this board. Uh, has been put in a, a two inch diameter PVC tube and uh, uh, filled with um, with the wax and then uh, this tube the, run, the, 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 the wires uh, I run the wires outside and, and this tube has been put into a three inch uh, PVC and the wires are connected into uh, uh, terminals uh, so as you see on a tube, it's exactly what I explained uh, uh, before. You see this, uh, these two red uh, terminals uh, can be used to connect uh, to the output, high voltage output, uh, from the flyback. And uh, the top one, it's either ground and this, this second one will be the high voltage output or I can take the tube disconnect these two wires and just rotate and reconnect them to the same terminals and then instead of negative I will have a, a positive output without uh, changing anything uh, on the main panel I have uh, a voltmeter where I can adjust the voltage on the before ZDS circuit and that's the regulation uh, for the uh, power supply and that's the main uh, power switch and the second switch I told you about uh, for the um, high voltage part for to activate ZDS and uh, I have this plug right now So as you see, like right now, I am on a five volts, and I can I can adjust to almost almost when it's almost nine almost 19 volts exactly almost 19 volts. So I can adjust my voltage before I uh, turn uh, high voltage part as a DS circuit and. Uh, This is just a fancy holder. I just put a little gadget in it. I don't know if you can see it. If you touch the face of that little alien mouse, the LEDs, I just put the Abramenko plugs inside so it senses. So it's kind of indicator that uh, the tube is energized right now. Um, I can turn this off and I'll show you inside I'm just white one, one handed okay so that's our that's our filter for 110 and transformer and uh, then it's uh, LM338 regulated power supply uh, ZVS circuit and that's the uh, customized uh, high voltage transformer that's a primary in here and uh, secondary in one part that's a grounding terminal so as you see the brown wire goes to the terminal uh, to the cockroach Walton and uh, also a green wire goes to the core and the frame of the transformer and, uh, and the output and also another wire goes, grounding wire goes to the 
uh, power supply, just how I uh, show you on the, on the schematics. And uh, okay, and that's a high voltage output and the limiting resistor in here. So I guess that's that's all I want to show you inside. And uh, now since uh, I'm one-handed and uh, once I turn this off, um, there might be a static interrupting. Uh, uh, so there's no no point of me talking. I'll. I'll just pause for now and I'll be back in a second with the setup. I'll show you how this works. So in this uh, a case, it can be used as a negative ion generator. was about one inch one inch spark and I am right now ten ten volts uh, ten volts DC anyway that's that's all I was going to show you today uh, I'll provide all the details on uh, our forum and vitronics for those who are looking to build something similar. Thank you for watching.